here go back to my channel. Woo! I'm feeling good. Your girl's feeling good. She's a little tired. She's a little tired, but I'm feeling good today because today we're gonna talk about some of these awesome serums that for me, when using them, I actually saw an improvement in my skin, whether it be texture, buttons, hyperpigmentation, etc. You name it. And so I thought I'd just round them up and share them with you guys. Granted, some of them you've already seen, but some of them are new, so it's going to be very interesting. And also, please remember that good sleep, stress relief, and being consistent. Wow, that came out really weird. Consistent with products are key to see actual improvements. Don't come at me when you've like stayed up all night and you just use this product once and be like, Sue, it didn't do shit. It didn't do anything for my skin. Don't you dare do that to me. Don't you dare. So without further ado, let's get this video started. All right, the first serum I have is one that I saw a huge improvement with my skin texture and it is, yes, the Innisfree Retinol Seek Eye Repair Ampoule. Da, 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 da. You bet your ass I was gonna mention this ampoule in this video. Faux show, faux show, how could I not? This is a beautiful ample to check out, especially if you're starting out with retinol, you never tried it, you're a retinol virgin, and you have really sensitive and dry skin. This is it, she it, she be it, girl. I actually have mentioned this quite a few times, and I love it when you guys tag me on stories on Instagram that you got to try out the sample or you actually got to buy it, but guys, Hold on to your horses because I have some very, very good news regarding this beautiful ample. Basically, like its name, oh, I want to hold up the bigger one up so because the bigger the better. This one has retinol and Sika. Retinol, we all know, is a wonderful ingredient, very potent but very effective at the same time. What? Those two basically mean the same things. Scratch that. Very potent, <laughs> but something that can be very harsh. There we go. That's what I was meant to say. Okay. So now, as we all know, it's great for anti-aging as it helps with the cell turnover. It also helps smooth out texture. It's a it's a really great all-around ingredient, if you will, that's great for the skin. But like I said, it could be a little harsh. You know, it can sting a little, especially if you have really damaged skin skin barrier or you have extremely sensitive skin that's one of the reasons why I kind of stayed away from retinol after some time um, because I just found them to be too harsh too potent that it was like staying and so when I came across this for the first time I was really really intimidated I was really scared that this was going to burn my cheek areas but it didn't I was so surprised. Now, granted, the amount of retinol that's in this product is very, very low. I forgot, but it was like less than 0 0.01. It was like 0 0.015%, something like that. But it's very, very low, so you don't have to worry. And it also has niacinamide, and it's actually pretty high up on the list. And it also has hyaluronic acid and also salicylic acid, which is on the bottom of the list, which is good, you know, because, wow, retinol with BHA, that's, that's fuerte, but... Like I said, this is very, very gentle. Not once did I, you know, experience any stinging or burning with this. And I mentioned this before again, but I made Yunyani try this out as well. I, she was kind of like my hamster, lap hamster. And I was like, Yunyan, you have to try this out. But luckily, it didn't like cause any reaction. She was fine with it as well. Now, let me show you guys the beautiful formulation. Now, I've seen a lot of people describe this as watery, including the website. And I agree, it's very light and watery, but it does does a smidge more than your other regular watery serums and you can see at first it had an opaque formulation and so it feels like it's a really light buttery buttery formula but it's made with low fat butter like vegan butter or something and as a matter of fact it does indeed have sunflower seed oil pretty I guess high up I guess in between the top and the middle and so definitely you can feel more of that fatty factor to it which I love and that was a reason that despite this being a really light formula it didn't I didn't feel any dehydration while using this during the colder seasons and so after having used this beautiful ample about a good solid month and a half I was very consistent like I said a uh, day night every day I truly saw felt at the ends of my fingertips that my skin texture had gotten so much smoother. And I was like, wow, this this actually works. This actually helps. <laughs> this actually does something for my skin. And they also incorporated this high-end, fancy-ass liposome technology, um, which basically makes the formulation more 
safer, not safer, but less irritant for skin to use. So I just really appreciate how they spent a lot of time and effort in developing this uh, formulation and product and I think y'all will like it. Like I said guys, I have very good news coming up so hold on to your horses before you buy it. So yes. Yeah. The next product is a serum that I saw an improvement in my the overall condition of my skin. So skin barrier, skin condition, same, same, you know? And it is this beautiful Cool Cut Repair Blend. Now, I have mentioned this a couple of times in between videos, um, but I never actually got to sit down and introduce this properly to you guys. But I just had to. Now, what's interesting is that unlike the Innisfree one that we saw, this doesn't have any like star key active ingredients per se. This is just a really nourishing, very rich, very elegant, very fancy ass formulation in a bottle. And this is just going to really help charge all that moisturization back into your skin and it does such a good job of it now the star ingredients that they market is obviously squalane and white truffle extract but we know like the white truffle extract is going to be very minimal um at the top of their ingredient list what they actually do have is lavender flower water so i know that a couple of you guys are sensitive to lavender so bear that in mind it has a lot of flower water flower extract and it also has horse fat that was very interesting i never encountered a product with horse fat in it so this is definitely not vegan that's for sure so i know a lot of you guys are into vegan this is not vegan and this is heavily you know scented fragrance scented etc and there's also a lot of seed oils um it has broccoli seed oil sweet almond seed oil and it also has like bougie ass ingredients like silk amino acids and white truffle like i said so that is i think that's why this is so damn expensive yes i love this it did great and wonders for my skin but this is so expensive this is this is like 110 dollars for 30 mil Girl, that hurts. That hurts. Okay, I take that personally. I took that personally. But I had to include this in this video because after using it for like a good month, I just saw that, wow, like my skin feels healthy. Like my, the condition, I guess. In Korea, we say like condition, you know, condition. And I'm not just talking about texture, but I was also talking about plumpness, um, no roughness, no deflatedness. And I could just feel like my skin skin feeling healthier and i think it was because this just does a good job with all that fatty ingredients just does a really good job in storing all of that in into my skin and granted i did use this when i was using this consistently it was more in the colder times this formula is really heavy to use right now <laughs> i will i will be honest the formula itself like i said is very rich it's very thick. This is a buttery formula, but it's made with extra fat butter. No vegan, no low fat shit. It's burro butter. So it feels very, very creamy. And the reason why I still appreciate this, you know, I mentioned this before, but you guys know how like a lot of brands are releasing these cream ampoules or cream skin, like not cream skin, sorry. The Laneige cream skin is beautiful, but the other ones, while the concept of them and the idea of them were very exciting, and I was very much looking forward to them the performance the, their performance itself actually was really disappointing like I said they would just linger and sit and dwell on top and I felt like the fatty content of that formulation didn't really play well with the watery content like it wasn't like two becomes one it was more like two becomes two you know so I was a little disappointed but this one you do not have to worry about that my lord my goodness this absorbs right in so beautifully it's like ah this is why this costs a hundred dollars it absorbs right in and oh you just feel like your skin's it feels like your skin got a 10 day vacation at hawaii that's how it feels like after using this so with that being said this is very rich this is very nourishing i only recommend it if you have like dry dehydrated maybe mature skin oh i think if you gifted oh actually yes you know in terms of like the pricey this would make actually a great gift for your parents sarah or me and just to elaborate you know like when your skin has those bad days sometimes this 
ample helps reduce those days the number of those days because your skin just feels better and better over time now because of its ridiculous price i am trying to find a dupe but it's very very hard uh, but once i do i will of course definitely share with you guys but in the meantime i do recommend this one i don't know get your boyfriend to buy it or something for you you know next serum is one where i saw improvement with brightening the overall complexion of my skin and it is yes indeed the mito on cell rejuvenation 10 percent nice and my boosting apple that's a long ass name they need to change that but uh i know that when it comes to brightening a lot of people think L-scorbic acid, you know, vitamin C products, which I am also using. I'm using the one by Medicube, but I just feel like in general, overall, vitamin C and L-scorbic acid products are a bit fickle to use. You know, first, you have to make sure you use it up fast. So that it doesn't oxidize and second you have to make sure that they're in these tinted bottles so they don't go off and third they're pretty expensive i don't know if you guys noticed but i finished these up now granted this is one that comes in a box so there are more products but usually they're so tiny i'm just like i need more than this so as a safer reliable alternative i think niacinamide is the way to go so this is one that i highly recommend and i actually saw an improvement with my complexion after using this for like two months a month and a half for sure now, as for the ingredients like you can tell from its name it has 10 percent niacinamide which of course you do not need that much of with niacinamide like five percent is fine you do not need to reach for the stars with niacinamide but niacinamide in general as we all know is an a plus student it's great for brightening anti-aging hyperpigmentation antioxidant it basically has all the benefits that i can think of and this also has centella propolis extract beta glucan we love beta glucan fermenting ingredients and squalane etc so this is packed with great gentle effective ingredients and as for the formulation i think this is a pretty viscous one it has a lot of volume viscosity to it but would i say that this is a buttery formulation no it's not buttery but it's very hydrating this is more like charging your skin with glazed water you know a lot of water a lot of water and to elaborate on its effects after using this for a good month and a half i saw i visibly saw my complexion get brighter and so i could see my skin the complexion on my skin get drastically lighter than my neck and usually the tone of them are similar of course i'm talking about when i don't have makeup on but I remember specifically at the time that it was there was such a huge difference. I was like, wow. And I remember that the serum I had been consistently using was this one. So this one worked for me. Last but not least, I have something for you, Perez. I have been using this serum. It has been, been working great on my Perez. And it is the La Roche Posay. This is their Epacla serum. Epacla? I don't know French. Uh, this is their serum. It's not, it's to be released in Korea. I know it's already available in other countries, but I know in Korea it's going to be released very, very soon. With pore products, their whole deal is that they help reduce the amount of sebum produced and sebum and oil are factors that can actually attribute to enlarged pores. So if you reduce them, they can help temporarily make your pores look smaller. Now, I'm not here saying that this pore, this product is going to make your pores disappear. That is false, that is a lie. That cannot happen but during the time you actually use this so for the time that you apply this it can help kind of regulate the sebum control and thus kind of help calm your pores down a bit in terms of size basically the la roche Pose efficlas serum has a combination of salicylic acid lactic acid and phytic acid so and so if you use this on the regular basis it's obviously going to help with the skin texture and also help with the pores clean out the gunk now my Mind you, I have been using this every single day and it didn't irritate my skin and, and it turns out the amount of those actives are very, very low. So you don't have to worry about that. And this just feels very, very refreshing, very summer appropriate, I must say. And I gotta say, guys, I always I always mention this, but my pores, pores, look so much bigger during the summer times. It's like screaming at me for attention like hello i'm here call me by your name actually i noticed the effects of this serum when i stopped using it so i didn't to be honest i did i was like okay this is a good serum when i was using it but after i stopped i was like holy crap like my skin suddenly feels really loose my pores look bigger and so that's why i jumped back 
to this. Um, now in terms of the formulation, it's a very watery, very light, very jelly, watery jelly like formulation. I think if you have oily skin, you will really enjoy this. Actually for the summer times, I think this would be suitable for, for all skin types. And it has a kind of slippery, gloopy feeling to it, but it feels very light. Now the finish of it though, for some reason feels tacky. Like one, when you absorb it in, you'll notice that it kind of changes and I don't know what's up with that. It's not uh, too unpleasant and it doesn't peel under your makeup so that's good and that's why I don't really mind it but just putting it out there and yes I am doing a sponsored video and putting it out there but I just had to bring it because it was I was actually pretty amazed with this one all right guys that was it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed and if you have any other recommendations let me know down in the comments so I can check it out for show sure, for show sure. make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it I'll see you guys in my next. Ciao! Damn, my skin looks good today.